Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video we're going to take the blueprint that we've created and we're going to apply it to our devices. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug in six devices and after a few moments the devices will appear on the screen. Now they may begin in collection view by default but personally I prefer to look at the devices in list view because it gives you very useful information about the product version, if they're supervised, the organization name, and any updates that are waiting to go onto the devices. Now, these first four devices have already had the blueprint applied to them previously, so I don't need to do that over again. These two devices down here, you'll remember from the last video, were the ones we have just prepared. So these are the ones that I want to add the blueprint to. So I'm going to select these last two iPads. And to do that, I hold down the command key and I click once on each of them. And that's selected both of them. So now that the iPads are selected, I'm going to click on blueprints and I'm gonna click on the blueprint that I want to apply in this case I want to apply this first blueprint here. So I click on it and it asks me if I want to apply to these two iPads and I click on apply. Apple Configurator will then apply the blueprint to the selected devices and a status bar will show you how long it's going to take. So Apple Configurator has finished applying the blueprints to those two devices and I can actually double click on the device and see lots of very useful information. I can see that it's a supervised device, information about it, personal information and how much storage space is still available. I can also click on apps at the top left and see which apps are specifically on this device. I can then click on profiles and I can see that the profile that I wanted has been applied to this device. So let's click on back at the top left here and go back to our list of devices. Now you'll notice from these devices before they're named and numbered and the numbers correspond to the stickers on the iPads themselves. So let's go ahead and name and number these two new iPads. Naming a device is very simple. Simply select it Click on Actions, Modify, Device Name. Then you can type in the name you want. In this case, I want this one to be iPad 12. Click on Rename. After a few moments, you'll see the device name has changed to iPad 12. You can also change the device backgrounds and what I like to do is I like to have the device number as the background to the device as well. So click on the device, actions, modify, wallpapers. And in this screen you can apply the background wallpaper for both the lock screen and the home screen. In this case it's iPad 12 so I'm going to browse to choose an image. Now, I've previously created a template in Keynote and I've numbered the Keynote slides all the way up to 100. Then I exported the Keynote to an image file. So it created an image for each of the Keynote slides. This way I can very quickly find the number I want. And in this case, I want number 12. I click on it, click on select, and I can see that 12 is now applied to the lock screen. I do the same for the home screen, select and apply. And after a few seconds the settings will be applied to the iPad and you'll see the icon changes to reflect the changes you've made to the wallpaper. Okay so I've renamed my iPads, I've changed the wallpaper settings on the back and I'm just going to quickly show you now how easy it is to do things like adding extra apps. Now you don't need to keep reapplying the same blueprint over and over again. If I have a new app and I want to add it to these iPads, I can click on Command and A to select them all. Or I can simply hold down Command, choose the iPads I want to add the app to. And then click on Add and Apps. 
and the process is as simple as choosing the app you want. Again, I can hold Command to select multiple apps and clicking on Add. There are a lot of really helpful features in Apple Configurator 2, which weren't in Apple Configurator 1. One that I quickly want to show you is how to remove passcodes that have been put onto the devices. This is often a problem in schools, especially where devices are shared. So simply select the devices. I'm going to select them all, so Command and A. Then click on Actions, Advanced, and here there's an option that says Clear Passcode. When I click on that, Apple Configurator will remove any passcodes that have been put on those devices. Also in the advanced options is the ability to start in single app mode. When applied, this will make sure that the iPads can only use one specific app. Simply choose the option and then on the next screen choose the app you want. In this case I'm going to choose the clock and select. Now the selected iPads will only be able to use the clock app and nothing else. It's very important that you clear these settings when finished. To clear the settings, simply go back to Actions, Advanced, and Stop Single App Mode. So our iPads are ready to use. In the next video, we're going to look at how we purchase apps from the Volume Purchasing Store.